Bioenergetics demystified for CSI and NET candidates. Metabolism. It consists of catabolic reactions where larger molecules are broken down into smaller molecules with the release of energy. That energy is used to transform the smaller molecules into larger molecules. Cellular energy. ATP is the energy currency of the cell and this hydrolyzes to release inorganic phosphate and ADP which can then absorb one more PI and convert back into ATP to complete the cycle. Exergonic reactions. Here the energy of reactants is higher than products which results into the release of free energy. The product formation is favored and that's why these are spontaneous or favorable reactions. Endergonic reactions. The energy of reactants is lower than that of the products. That's why in these reactions energy is required making them non-spontaneous reaction. Equilibrium rise towards the reactant formation. Biological redox reactions. Glucose loses electrons and hydrogens to make carbon dioxide, whereas oxygen gains electrons and hydrogen to undergo reduction. 